Coming up first on our super stock diesel class, the chain reaction, Jacob Belfance splits his time between New York and Alabama. And uh, Jacob and John kind of discussing things right now. As absolutely they have the option, they have the choice to decide whether or not they want to. He's right here about that 290 foot mark or so with that fast. You got to consider exactly what you, did you pull your gear? Was the front end in the air? Exactly what other aspects were you, did you have to break? Anything like that. And uh, they make that decision here. We'll get the final word and the distance. Well, got everything checked out now. I'll give him this opportunity as he comes to the starting line. He's got a ring in his collection. We didn't get to have him come out here and talk to us a little bit about it, obviously, as he was getting ready to pull. We are gonna have a new leader on the diesel super stock side. Brandon Hunt of Hearn in Kentucky gonna take that lead. We'll get a distance from him in just a moment. Yeah, that's been a uh, busy last couple of weeks thrashing to get the tractor back together and ready to go. And obviously he's gotta be pretty happy with an A to B pass, but we'll see. He's a pretty intense competitor. So we bring uh, the guys like the bone twister and the triple bypass entry, as well as the super rooster that have been kind of setting the curve. And we bring the Blake Graves, the all time winners in a super stock diesel tractor class here uh, at Bowling Green and bring them out. Then we'll really know where that pass stacks up folks, but we'll wait for that distance for Brandon Hunt. 317.64, 317 and 64 for Brandon Hunt. Well, it's going to be a big trial here this afternoon. You know, with the weather conditions here, we, of course, we got cool conditions, but we got the wind playing the factor here. And of course, anytime you deal with any type of dirt surface, Mother Nature comes in big. And uh, as you can see, we've got a little bit of cloud cover, uh, not a whole lot of sun beating on us right now, but uh, that wind conditions, I think, is going to play into our track conditions here this afternoon. Bowling Green putting their magic potion on, though. Obviously, we talked a little bit about that this morning. Badgear.com is the nation's premier diesel apparel company. Our unique and patriotic designs make a perfect addition to your, you and your loved one's wardrobe. Our distance for the John Deere 40, 20, 304 and six. So we are now set. We are set on the Super Farm side. Coming to the track next, out of Lynn, Indiana, the lock and load team. Steve Burge doing the driving. John Stewart backing him up. I'm sure Butch is down there too. These guys were high school friends and partners on this tractor and just a great running international 1066. 
the 2014 and 2015 Grand National Champions out of Lynn, Indiana, Steve Burge, the lock and load. Yeah, I always refer to them as the tripod as uh, you very rarely see them all without one another and what an awesome friendship they have and uh, combination they have as they bring lock and load now to the starting line in this Superstock Diesel class. So Brandon Hunt, he's your leader right now, 317 feet, a little bit of change, a very nice pass with living a dream as we continue to work in there. And Dan, we're starting to smell that pine saw just a little bit more. Yep, they keep working that into the track. Now, we talked to Larry Richwine earlier this afternoon, and he had talked about how they control it. You know, Marvin Epperson, our competition director down there, he'll watch the tracks all afternoon long, and we get some cover. They'll actually turn off the water spray. going to have ourselves a new leader looking good distance for steve burge we have a new leader on the diesel super stock side 326.510 326.510 our current grand national points leader hooking to the sled on the south track out of petersburg indiana Kent Payne and the Super Rooster. Kent sitting just one point ahead of Colin Ross in the net, in the season long points battle. Next on the track, Colin Ross. So it is going to be a battle this afternoon here in Bowling Green. The Super Rooster. Tony Seisman, the Wolverine Deer, looking up over on the red track. John Deere, 4430. <laughs> Leader flag again. Three, Kent Payne's official distance, 330.630. 330 330.630, going to set the mark to beat. And obviously, uh, you think about over the last couple of years, Colin has been the primary driver. Uh, they really converted and changed a tremendous amount with this tractor. And uh, Colin works at Chaos Fabrication. Pennsylvania and they have done a lot of work to try to uh, refine change tweak and that's not just with the uh, horsepower that they are building all right there in their shop but also uh, with the chassis configuration and how they've set up uh, the, you know trying to get everything to apply to the track so uh, I will tell you that this tractor has been very very tough when it is on it is one of the toughest outs in competition yeah we've seen a couple times this year this tractors put you know 50 60 feet on second place here but then like you say the next event they'll come out they'll have some problems with it now looks like early on here in our super stock diesel class these competitors are kind of favoring the right of center spot down the track here colin will split the difference about half way between that right hand chalk line and the middle part of the track here so that seems to be the hot place right now now that starting line area will start to tear up as the afternoon goes along here and uh, we'll see them moving around here a little bit but right now they're favoring this side of the track Red tractor on the green sled. So Colin Ross is going to pull into third place at 317.680.
Brandon Hunt is going to drop down to fourth place at 317.640. Super, super tight competition in our diesel super stock class. Well, the Ken Payne gave a big sigh after yep. that run right there, dodged a big bullet as Colin Ross coming up a little bit short here in our super stock diesel class. John Belfance up next on our diesel super stock side, the chain breaker. Again, they split their time between Alabama and New York. Hey, don't forget to visit the toy show over in Harmon, uh, the Home and Garden building on the Midway. Open until 7 o'clock tonight. You don't want to miss that. That building is chock full of great looking toys. Take an opportunity to swing by the toy show. All right, father and son pulling team. We saw son out a little bit earlier with the chain reaction tractor. Now time for the chain breaker. Dad gets his chance. Now make a couple of the Grand National pulls here throughout the summer. Always down there in Chapel Hill at the Super Pole of the South. And then uh, making it up here to Bowling Green, an annual pilgrimage. This guy is always so very close. He's been in the mix. He's been second. He's been second. He's been second. And uh, right on the verge and right on the edge of, of that breakthrough that he desires to be able to go and win that session as uh, they run a quad setup and a triple setup with the turbo. And I said, I think, I think this is the triple that we've got on the starting line here, the chain breaker and John Belfance. Distance for the chain baker, breaker, 310 even, 310.000. Yeah, we're seeing this afternoon in our super stock diesel class, uh, just like we saw in our limited class last night, fans. Of course, this uh, south track, you know, you got that hook past that 250 foot mark. And once again, taking another competitor as we see up on the replay. As he uh, gets drifted off to the left-hand side, had to touch the brake just a little bit. Out of Ackerley, Texas, the Red Horse. Steve Blagrave doing the driving. His brother Stan walking down the track, getting him lined up and hooked up. We saw Steve's son, sons out last night, Trevor and Sean, with their two-wheel drive. Very, very strong competitors out of the state of Texas, the Blagraves. Yeah, and as far as the super stock diesel class goes here in Bowling Green, nine victories for this team here out of Texas. They've got uh, six rings to go along with it, so definitely one to watch. Here. That's only the second appearance here for them in 2023, so good to see them up here in Bowling Green. Yeah, we don't have to worry about mosquitoes over here on the south side. Steve Blagrave knocking on the door.
All right, guys, another tractor we see pulling hard off to that left-hand side. Well, we'd like to say good afternoon to the campers out there. How you campers doing here this afternoon? All right, good to see you guys are up and going. Boy, they laid down some nice runs over the years, and good to see Hans back here once again. Third or fourth? And Darren, you talked about it. You know, big dairy farmers up there in western New York, about 45 minutes southeast of the Buffalo area. And at one time, uh, they were upwards of 2,200 head they used to milk. And uh, they've since kind of cut that down and kind of downsizing things over the last couple of years. We'll bring that my last excuse entry into the uh, red track and obviously a gentleman who has just been incredibly tough here at Pull Town in the last decade. Good hook for the special. First time we've seen that tractor out on the NTPA circuit this year, so it's good to, good to see Hans Boxler Jr. with the special. Distance for Hans Boxler Jr. with the special, 307.39. This is Mr. O'Reilly Auto Parts. Have your check engine codes read and a list of possible fixes. O'Reilly Auto Parts, better parts, better prices every day. We're going to go green on the green track again. Coming to us out of Litchfield, Minnesota, Roger Peterson, just another one. Unfortunately, fans, that's going to be it for him here this afternoon, his second and final attempt here for Roger Peterson. Let's give him a tough luck round of applause. Sixty point one five. Sixty point one five. Rough day for him. Hopefully he'll be able to get it fixed and be back out here tomorrow. Hey, make sure as you're making plans for this afternoon to stop by Hot Shot Secrets. They're giving away free samples of their fuel additive everyday diesel treatment. Or stop. Turn your passion into a career with a degree from the University of Northwestern Ohio. From high performance to automotive, agriculture to diesel, and robotics. The UNOH has a program just for you. And don't forget, during the sessions, if you're out of something, go to Kroger's and Bowling Green, proud sponsor of this year's Tractor Bowl.
might have very well just went past himself there. That was a very nice pass, folks. Give him a nice round of applause. Kent Payne. Yeah, I've been wrenching on that tractor all summer long. And boy, I'll tell you, here this afternoon, it really worked out for him. Going to be awful close here to taking over that, uh, taking over his lead. Their hometown polls in Norwalk, Wisconsin. They won the Dairyland Super Nationals in Toma back in June. Degenhart's looking to go farther than 330. Kent Payne sitting out front with two different tractors at 330 feet. So Red fans, you currently have the first nine spots on the diesel super stock side, but green fans don't despair. We have two vehicles left and they are both green. We've got Jeff DeMars out of Lynn Grove, Iowa with the smoking hot deer and then John Raymond with the smoking mirrors. So green fans, you still have hope. If you're sitting in the actual grandstands and you're up higher, especially over there on the north side, you can see the change of color. Now, what I see right now is it, it was actually getting really light before we started. But what it takes is it takes them tractors so many times to go up and down the track and for not only the sled but the tires to start digging the moisture that is actually buried deeper into the track. So the tracks actually get darker, but they're uh, trying to keep up with that, especially with the water uh, that they're putting on, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. And of course, with all that water coming up, you know, it develops soft spots, hard spots in the track, and, you know, that's another thing. You see vehicles start, you know, hooking left, right, and uh, that's what causes it out there. Let's see what the smoking hot tears got for us here out of Iowa. Okay, over here on the green south track, Red fans, how confident are you right now sitting in the first, at least top five? Green fans, you have one left. Out of Caledonia, New York, the smoke and mirrors of John Raymond. John Raymond, smoke and mirrors. fans so that will conclude our super stock diesel class here this afternoon and uh, Darren will have our top five finishers for us here real quick as we get ready 49 mini rods will be next up on the south side on our green track 
so get distance ready. for John Raymond 275 and 36 275 36 in fifth place the triple bypass of Colin Ross in fourth place the red horse of Steve Blagrave in third place the lock and load of Steve Burge in the runner-up position the high-tech redneck Mike Beck's tractor today piloted by Kent Payne and your winner Kent Payne's own tractor the Super Rooster.